All right, guys, I have some professional tools here from Five Star Tools. These are the Garden Joy brand, believe it or not, both of them. So if you have a garden, maybe you'll have some joy here. Uh, actually, this is a bet. I have a bet with a guy who's, uh, let me get into the whole story. Stay tuned. All right, this mess right here started from a buddy who absolutely loves Amazon. He's a contractor, so he would buy all his DeWalt tools up there. Loves yellow, anything yellow. So found some super cheap DeWalt tools on Amazon. Then someone, not me, told him about Wish. So he started going to Wish thinking that he could get some great DeWalt tools from there. Ends up, he buys a whole like 18 pack of DeWalt tools. They all come, they're really not DeWalt tools. They were all junk and literally junk. They all broke like within the first two weeks. It, it was comical because this guy's got a temper. So instead of saying, I'm done with the junk uh, and, and going back to DeWalt, he decides that he's going to run everything he has off of cheap tools, completely opposite of what you would think, right? I mean, he just got scammed on cheap tools. Now he's going to be back in the game running everything off Amazon tools. Well, this is his pick here, um, and he might be done now. I'm not sure, but these are the first two tools that he ordered, and these are from Five Star Tool. I'll put the link in the description. I'm sure you'll want to check it out. Uh, and they came with batteries. They're, they're sitting here charging at this point. Uh, they, they basically have this little plug here that you plug in. Uh, this dude is for the drill because it's red matches. This guy is for the impact wrench, yellow. Uh, it's very, very interesting in how they put this whole thing together. First, it, when you're looking at this battery, they list it as 21 volt not max, just 21 volt, in 1.5 amp hour, 30 watt hours. Well, um, so I'm just thinking, you know, okay, that would make sense. A 20 volt battery, 1.5 watt, or 1.5 amp hour, 30 watt hour. Then you come over to the larger battery, you got 21 volt, 4 amp hour, 84 watt hour. So that math works, this math doesn't but these tools are listed to run on anything from 12 to 24 volts. So are they gonna let this battery come down to 12 volts? Cause that's not good either. Either way, this is a nightmare because you'd think if you bought a brand of tools that you could share the batteries and he did. So uh, you can see here, there's zero chance in you sharing these two batteries because they, even though they're the same brand, the same voltage are not going to take it at all. So quickly to go over this, um, God, this tool just feels cheap in my hands. And it's, it's one of those things where it's probably going to work good. We're going to find that out, but the battery is tight. There is, this is a brush tool. You can see it spark in the back. Um, there's nothing here that really stands out it, it tells me hey i've got half a charge or anything i don't know the only way i can tell is that there's a red and green light on the charger so when it gets fully charged it'll let me know there you have clutch settings here manual clutch that's interesting the clutch is on level 10 and we can't even get the clutch to turn on so Level six, level eight. Yeah, we can get up to level 10 and then the clutch doesn't work because the drill doesn't have enough power to go through. Although uh, these batteries were charged yesterday. I plugged them back in today. It said they need to be charged again. So I assume that we're, we're really close to full. That was on level two. So this is 1,550 RPMs on high, 450 RPMs on low. Seems slow. And it has some serious chuck wobble. 
we'll test that one out too and get through it. So this impact wrench was super interesting to me. And I have not seen this in a lot of things. It's got a hog ring on it, but it comes with a couple sockets that also have your pin detent with it. So not only is it going to be, get this in the right spot, held on by your hog ring, you can also drop your pin in, which is nice, put the little rubber over it. And that guy is never coming off there, which is perfect for some people who might use this in construction if they're working at heights, because that's what your pin detents for, right? Um, if not, most people aren't gonna understand why they can't get the socket off in the first place. But what it did come with is um, a bunch of impact bits. And I didn't find this little guy in there. Uh, so it came with quarter inch hex impact bits uh, and I was surprised I mean it's it's got the Phillips and everything else in here but it came with the an adapter I guess that will actually drop these in it's fairly sensitive you have to get it in just the right point to pull this back out otherwise if it goes too far it's still locked in there you know professional tools again right this really makes you appreciate what you get from the bigger tool companies. Uh, I, if nothing else, this is gonna be a huge learning experience as to why I wouldn't buy some of this junk and why when we look at something that, you know, it'd probably be offensive to say this is made in China and it's Chinese junk. But that's the fact and this is what they're trying to sell us. And I'm not trying to say that they, uh, it's just, People think this is professional tools. I'm really not sure what person out there or what country you live in that you think this is a professional tool. I'm sure professionals could get the job done with this, but man, it's gonna take them some time because they're gonna have battery issues. They're, reality here. This is brushless, at least that's what it says here. Um, no sparks in the back. It sure sounds weird. There you go. Uh, let's put these to use, see what they'll do. So this is a 3 8 inch drill. Um, everything's plastic on the chuck. In order to get this into its drill mode, this is really easy to move uh, down here where we're, you know, dealing with the clutch. And the farther up we get, the harder it is to move this. When we get to the drill portion, you really have to push it to get it in there. So I'm assuming this is just a friction plate and we could probably get some slippage even though we're completely in the drill mode. Let's just see, we, you know, back in the shop, we couldn't get the clutch to slip at level 12 anyway. So with 1,550 RPMs, three quarter inch bit. We're at the end. So uh, that was level two, let's go to level one. Try seven eighths level one. I know my numbing guys, but we got to figure this out. It's so slow that I'm kind of fearful of it actually catching, though I know it doesn't have a lot of power. One inch. So the wood chips are odd to say the least because of the speed. This is definitely not 450 RPMs. There's, we've done a lot of this on low before and definitely not. Inch and a quarter. Most drills that we're using can do this stuff on high.
we're not going to risk it going through there without an auxiliary handle at this speed. Let's go up to inch and three eighths. There's some heat getting poured out of here, like enough that it'll start to burn your thumb. So I'm not covering the vents, but my hands are close enough to it that I feel the air moving through. Okay, inch and a half. Come on. Oh, oh. Smoke. Assume you guys seen the smoke. I, I let's just smoke it again. That was fun. Come on. Come on. Get through the hole. It's interesting. It's kind of like a vape machine, I guess. All right, well, we'll let that guy sit. I might be asking quite a bit from this guy, but um, let's just give her hell, see what happens. Snow way smoke. Come on. We didn't even get to use you. Literally, just went to. What the hell? How could you expect this to last as a professional lithium ion tool? I mean, it literally put this on. What the heck is going on? Oh, Jesus. I'm gonna finish this up outside. Uh, I know not our normal video, but kind of, oh, kind of our normal testing. Um, simply, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven holes drilled. Now I get it. I pushed it and that's what happened. It smoked it. But in a professional setting, somebody's gonna to wanna to get something done and uh, this drill definitely is not going to get something done. And it, it's sad that uh, People want to push something as professional tools and in some ways just deceive people. And I don't know that this battery pack is safe. I tried to put this battery pack back on the charger quickly. It says it's fully charged. Green light won't take anything. So that's probably a good thing for even how hot this drill is. This impact, I expected more out of. Now, I will say it sounded funny and I said it, I believe, on camera when I first hit the trigger. It just sounded funny. It says on this that everything's good. It stinks and that's why I'm outside. I don't really want to deal with this kind of smoke in the shop. Something happened here with the motor right off the bat before we even got to put it on a bolt. Um, I was messing with it on the way out and it started was turning just fine with the, it was a larger socket that was on there but you wouldn't think the socket would burn this guy out. So absolutely zero use on this guy. This brushless motor took a crap on us without even dropping it or doing anything. You have to, I guess, take a look around and say, thank God that we have some decent tool companies out there that are building things for us. Uh, 
even if some of them push the limits a little bit on what they're saying they are building for us, at least we're getting something out of it. Uh, I think our buddy who's a contractor is going to be disappointed that the first two tools that he purchased are no longer working. Uh, and I have a feeling this will push him back to uh, having to go to somewhere else to get tools. But it's really sad what we're seeing on Amazon and what we're seeing from other countries who are trying to push us into buying something with false advertising. I'm not, uh, I'm not a fan of our own tool companies giving us false advertising, but when it comes from these places, it's even worse. It's like a smack in the face because am I supposed to believe that? Am I supposed to just buy the stuff and then uh, think that this is great and who cares? I, I don't want to be lied to. I don't think you want to be lied to either. If you're going to sell me something that, and I'm going to stand on the professional stuff. If you're going to sell me a drill, it should drill. And while this did and we pushed it a little far, it's definitely not up to any standards as far as uh, safety wise, probably plugging this thing in. There's no 21 volts. We're all smarter than that. There's five cells in this thing and those cells are going to give you four volts a piece. They're going to be 3.6 nominal. It's an 18 volt battery pack. If you're going to sell me something, come up with a line that uses the same battery at least, you know, try. It burns me a little bit that people think Americans in, in some other countries uh, are that stupid. We're not. Take your shit and don't bring it here anymore. We'll build our own.